Teens, and welcome to <coughs> <coughs> and welcome to the first Hand of Doom Dev Diary. My name is Torpal Duke, and I'm the lead developer. If you've played any of the Dread X collections, you've probably already seen some of my previous games. But today, I'm here to talk about my very first game, Hand of Doom, or rather, what it has become. <laughs> Hand of Doom is a first-person point-and-click wizard simulator with a focus on exploration and puzzle solving. It's inspired by RPGs from the early 90s, unsettling FMV games with live-action cutscenes, and the Doom Metal music genre. Unlike the clunky and sometimes unapproachable nature of some of these older games, my goal with Hand of Doom is to pay homage to them while still keeping modern design sensibilities and accessibility at the forefront. The main way the player interacts with the world is by casting spells. This is done by making combinations of magic words to form incantations in order to explore your surroundings, solve puzzles, or fight enemies. Spells can be as simple as conjuring a light to see in the dark, or shooting a fireball to burn down your enemies, and others that bend the very forces of time and space to your will. Powerful spells such as these will require a blood sacrifice to go along with the appropriate words of power. You can expect to see some fun spells and other secrets hidden away for you to find. In Hand of Doom, the player takes on the role of a new apprentice wizard under the tutelage of a powerful sorcerer. The story starts some time after the events of the Dread X Collection version have passed, and you'll find that things have changed, and not all is well with the wizards. I think fans of the lore of the original Hand of Doom and my other game, Black Relic, will enjoy the continuation of the ongoing story. The game is currently very early in development, but there is a lot of cool stuff we have planned, and I'm so excited to be able to share it with everyone. Expect to see more cool monsters, powerful spells, and wacky wizards as development continues. Well, that's all from me this time. You can follow me and DreadXP on Twitter if you want to stay up to date on the latest news. Thanks for watching. See ya!